Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the latest changes in CMU 119.1, which I'm happy to announce is released now for free to everyone in the public. You can download it from the CMU page you'll find in this video's description, or if you followed any of my guides, you can just simply load CMU and it should automatically update. If it doesn't, click help. Check for updates, this will again automatically update to the latest version, which at time of making this video is 119.1b. Finally, if you are a CMU patron, do make sure to update to this B version, since we got some really, really nice fixes in this small update which came shortly after release. 119.1 brings with it a really cool file system change that's going to make managing your games so much easier. And on top of that, we've been given a really cool fix for vertex explosions and polygonical broken effects when using the Vulkan API. This should greatly affect CMU users playing games like Mario Kart 8 and Breath of the Wild on Vulkan, especially so those users who play these games using graphics cards that have 4GB of VRAM or lower. First things first, we're going to take a look at some general changes where they have updated the language files not once, but twice in this new version, adding support for even more languages. On top of this, CMU now also verifies if it has write access to its own folder I'd imagine that this change was added to accommodate the new title manager, which we're going to be taking a look at in just a few moments. In relation to Vulkan and OpenGL, first of all, they reworked index caching to avoid potential data corruption. This is the change that fixes random polygonical explosions that could happen in any game, but as I noted earlier, were most prevalent in games like Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, and Mario Kart 8. In the 119.1b release, we also saw another change for OpenGL and Vulkan. They fixed an issue where the border color of a texture sampler would be red from the wrong shader stage. This fixes vegetation LODs in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We've also been told to make note that on the Vulkan API, your graphics driver must support the VKEXT custom border color extension. Otherwise, CMU can not emulate border color correctly. At time of making this video, this extension is only currently available on the Vulkan beta drivers. If you want to download that, you'll find a link for it in the description of this video. Okay, so now that we've gone over all of those changes, let's take a look at the brand new title manager which has been added in 119.1. Since we don't have a stop emulation button, I'm going to close the emulator and next we're going to be relaunching it as we normally do. In this version, we've not only gotten the new title manager, but we've gotten a few user interface changes. To see these, you're going to come to Options, General Settings. In this graphics section, you can now see that they've removed all of the overlay options and moved them to a section of their own. This is quite a small change, but it's still pretty nice to have all of these sections in their own appropriate areas. Since it was only added in 119.0, the experimental setting for async shader compile with Vulkan is still available in the debug experimental tab. As before, you still need the Vulkan beta driver, so please make sure to install it if you want to use this awesome feature. By coming to Tools and selecting the Title Manager, you can see this brand new Game Manager built into the emulator. Even though I myself do take special care to keep all of my files in the correct place, obviously I haven't done so. If you have any of these red errors, you can easily fix them by simply right-clicking your game, then selecting Fix Entry. This should solve any of these file system issues you have. Now, funnily enough, when I was looking at this tool earlier, I actually noticed that I had two versions of the update for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild somehow installed on my system. One of them is in the correct file directory, and the other is in a really, really old one. To be honest, I'm not really sure how that got installed on my system, but by simply right-clicking and selecting a Fix Entry, it frees up 4GB of space on my SSD and also fixes the red file system error which was displaying in the window. Even though I do take special care to make sure not to install anything to the wrong area, I think by all these red marks in my title manager, you can see that even I am not able to manage these properly. So if you have any red errors, as I said, simply right click them, select fix entry. This should solve any of your file system issues you may be having on CMU. I know a lot of people have been reporting that they've been installing game updates and DLCs, and even when installed, they're not showing up in the games list. 
This title manager should fix most of those installation issues users have been having in the past. So there we go guys, there are all the changes coming in CMU 1.19.1b. As I said in the beginning, this update is already released to everyone for free, so simply update your build and make sure to do exactly as I did. Hopefully you guys won't have as many file system issues as I apparently did. As usual, if you are having any issues with this new CMU update, you can either consult my complete setup guide, which you'll find a link for down below, or if you have any additional issues further to that, you can head on over to my Discord server, a link to which you'll also find down below. Once again guys, thank you all very much for watching, I hope this video was informative and useful for all of you. As always, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.